Welcome to an IVS computer technology tutorial. My name is Jessica Kiros, an education consultant with IVS. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to utilize the checker tool. The checker tool is a resource that allows text to be inserted and marked as correct or incorrect. So for example, I have posed the question, what is the capital of California? I have also inserted a checker tool on this page, so my students are able to drag what they predict to be the correct answer inside of my checker box, and the checker tool will give them a check mark or an X to indicate a correct or incorrect answer choice. So for this example, if my student were to drag in the word Sacramento with a lowercase s, the checker tool will give them an X indicating an incorrect answer choice because the S needs to be capitalized. And then the student will receive a check mark. So let me show you how to utilize the checker tool. My first step will be to select the gallery tab. I will then type checker tool into the search bar, then select search. I will then select the folder labeled interactive and multimedia then drag the checker tool onto the Smart Notebook workspace area. I will then select the double arrow in the top left corner to type in the correct answer choice. And finally, I will type the answer choices onto my Smart Notebook page. So first, I'll select the Gallery tab, and in the search bar, I'm going to search for the word Checker Tool. And I'll select the magnifying glass here search. I will then select the tab that says interactive and multimedia and there is my checker tool. I will drag my checker tool onto my workspace area. There's my checker tool. Now my next step will be to select the double arrow and enter the correct answer in the space below. So I know for this question, I'm going to ask, how many vertices does a hexagon have? Okay, so I can enter the correct answer in the space below, and the answer is six. Okay, now here, if this were a word answer, I could check this box to make it case sensitive, as in the previous question. And then I'll select OK. So now this checker tool knows that six is the correct answer. So my last step is going to be to type the answer choices onto my Smart Notebook page that my students can drag into the box. So I will type three as an answer choice, four as an answer choice, and six as an answer choice. So now, when I ask the question, how many vertices does a hexagon have, my students will drag in the answer 6, and the correct answer was entered into the checker tool, so it will give them a check mark. Thank you for joining us in today's tutorial on how to utilize the checker tool.